Him Bones here, and uh, we're going to do another little uh, section on Go Bags. And today I want to focus on uh, medical stuff. Um, you're really going to have two separate kits. It's going to be a first aid kit and a trauma kit. And, you know, you can have a bunch of different variants of, um, of both of those when you get into different levels, like your individual versus mass. And things like that. So, um, but what I focus on mainly is just building a kit that's got my first aid stuff, which is comfort type stuff, and building a kit that has my trauma kit stuff, which is trauma's life threatening, must be taken care of now. And so, um, I just kind of focus on those two uh, things and divide what I have. And I have a bunch of extra stuff. That's just all extra garbage laying around um not garbage but it's extra stuff um so all my trauma stuff is actually here on the outside of the bag in, in this little kit and um it just it um it folds out and i have everything that's gonna stop you know massive bleeding and stuff like that um uh gonna keep you breathing stop bleeding basically is is in this little pouch right here and um and so you know it's just you 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 want to have both yeah you're gonna need both so um that's first aid is kind of all around in this this in this bag at this point uh because i keep adding new stuff and um you know I'm organized, but it only goes so far. So let's open up the bag and get down to the kit. Now remember, um, when you're buying a first aid kit at, say, a sporting goods store, or, you know, maybe you can find one out of a pharmacy, most of those are just filled with Band-Aids. Um, and you're going to have to, what you're looking for is the type of bag it comes in, and, and will that fit into your your bug-out bag, and will it, um, is it the right size, and will it hold everything you need it to hold? Um, which, you know, um, it's always good to have something like this, which is just a little survival book, but it has a whole first aid section. So, um, set that over there. This is my actual kit. Um, it's full to the brim at this point. So stuff I also keep in my bag, um, sunblock. You're going to need it if you're stuck in, you're a hike, you got a hike out of somewhere and it's, you know, it's hot. So this could save you from losing a lot of water, but um, and getting burnt all to hell. Uh, an extra roll of gauze always handy. Uh, my splint um, always have a good splint on you. You never know if you're gonna sprain an ankle, break a break an ankle, arm, whatever. And um, sometimes, you know, people think, well, there's nothing that could be do. It hurts so bad. Why, why, why you do anything? And they're like, okay, yeah, it's starting to feel better. You know, it's just a psychological thing sometimes, but you might need it. And you might really have to hike out somewhere with someone who's got a broken leg or something because uh, there's no cell phone service or something. Um, the top pocket here, I have uh, sunburnt. It's just a burn cream. Um, and some antiseptic spray, and then also in here I have um, some earplugs and stuff, which kind of goes along with the first aid. Um, let's get that in there. And then down here, you know, I have hand wipes. Um, and what else did I have in here? That's kinda, um, oh, right here. Have some type of foot care kit that's got like moleskin and stuff in it um, that's going to allow you to, if you get blisters and you still have a long way to go, uh, take care of your feet before they get too bad. I mean, if you're using this bag, it's probably a bad day and uh, let's not make it worse because you weren't prepared for certain things that were inevitable uh, to happen, you know what I mean? So, um, so that's the stuff that makes it into the bag that's just kind of extra um outside the kit and let's get into the kit this is a kit man i bought a big five sporting goods so um and then of course i've i butchered it pretty bad and it's it's became kind of a hybrid and it's full right now like it it bows out at all edges and um get this damn paper open 
and get into the actual kit. Um, so as you can see, I, just from opening it, I have stuff ready to fall out. These are really nice, um, uh, they're called second skin. They're, they're burn pads, and um, basically they're, they're um, moist pads, and it, you know, they don't stick to the, the burn, but it, uh, it keeps them hydrated and keeps them, um, you know, uh, kind of cool, and then you just, you wrap them up, and then when you unwrap them, they still peel right off of the burnt um, area, and so, kind of cool. Um, gloves, I'm always going to have gloves, I'm going to have enough gloves to have, let people help me also, um, so, not just folds out like that, and as you can see, I have it packed full of crap, but, um, let's just start up here, um, tape, waterproof tape, um, and then some Advil or something that's going to um, allow, you know, if someone breaks something or something or has a headache, like a little bit of relief could make a difference between them. Freaking whining to the point where you want to shoot yourself and, and then being able to tolerate what, what's going on. So um, smaller gauze, uh, just in case you have to wrap something up. Uh, cold pack, I have a couple of them in here actually. Um, you know, some of this stuff isn't that it works overly well. It's that it's going to create um, the image in someone's head that, that you're doing everything you can do for them and stuff. And it, it could really help calm them down or, or keep them, you know, uh, from being overwhelmed by whatever injury they have. And then, you know, I have some um, burn cream, um, which if you shoot a lot, someone's going to get burnt at some point. So... Um, and then over here, I have more sterile gloves, um, some more tape, although this isn't, like, the good waterproof kind, I keep it around, because it's probably what I'll try to burn through first, and if I have to tape up anything else in any situation, you know, I don't mind using it. Uh, butterfly, um, I've, these three boxes of band-aids, I've kind of butchered and put my own stuff in, but it's all roughly the same kind of band-aids and stuff, um. I just use it to kind of keep everything a little bit better organized. And then scissors. You know, it's always good to have scissors. I have scissors on my Leatherman. I have scissors uh, in here. I have scissors, uh, trauma shears in um, my trauma kit. Um, let's go to the middle compartment here. Um, this is in no real order other than these are sterile um, um, pads. So uh, they're antibacterial pads, and uh, they're pretty big. Um, I don't know if you can see through the paper there, but um, they're decent size, so, and they're brand new. Every once in a while, I try to replace some of the stuff in here just because it gets old and, you know, newer stuff comes out, probably with better adhesives and stuff. And here's another type of cold pack. Um, not a bad idea. And here I keep uh, basically three types of wipes, um, just regular hand wipes, um, and then... Um, also some type of alcohol swabs, um, uh, pads, uh, to kind of, um, clean stuff out. And then I also keep, I have, um, stingies pads in here that are going to take care of any bug bites, uh, poison ivy, stuff like that. It's kind of Benadryl on a, on a little pad, really. And then I have a bunch of diff, um, tweezers, of course, are a necessity in a, in a kit like this. And then, um. I have uh, gauze pads, but um, I have this size here, and then I have, you know, a little bit bigger ones here, and um, and then uh, here's a compress, uh, a compress and stuff, so uh, a little bit of everything. This is actually ABD press, alright, um, and then... You know, I have more sterile gloves down here at the bottom. So, um, uh, triangle bandage. Um, honestly, you you need a uh, you don't want to be hiking out with someone who's got a, a kind of a major injury in their mind and um, in a lot of pain, and they're complaining about the way you bandaged everything. So, have a variety of stuff. It's kind of like having the right tool for the job. So. Um, and here I have some more uh, little band-aids that are probably throwing these boxes up here right now. But um, 
and then I have some betadine uh, wipes just to sterilize stuff and and um same thing I believe I have a bunch of those and then um a lot of this stuff I bought off of Amazon so Amazon has a pretty good uh, section of first aid stuff um these I buy at the drugstore though these are eye patches and uh, if you're out with someone who um gets something stuck in their eye or something like that you need to keep them from rubbing it especially if it's a shard from uh, around like you're out shooting steel or something so um q-tips uh here's a suture kit um in case stuff gets really bad and we're out in the middle of nowhere nowhere um like this kit, you know, I would feel comfortable hiking it in the backcountry, like on a trip or something. I just pulled out of this bag. Um, here's some stair strips uh, by 3M again. I think 3M always makes stuff you can count on sticking. So, um, and then I have a bunch of different um, size band aids. I mean, maybe you could see through it again. Um, it basically, they, uh, you know, uh, you just want. Um, want to be able to have the right tool for the right job and um and i'm not going to get into any like real how to's but have stuff for burns have stuff for um breaks and 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 cuts and bruises and bites and uh poison ivy and you know just a little bit of everything that's what a kid is and um it's basically what i have in there right now i'm pretty happy with what's in there um, I'm sure there's a couple things need to be added to it, but, you know, it's 95%, you know, solid right now. If you have any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, um, there you go. Make a bag. Keep it in your car. Um, just be prepared. All right, I'm out.